Now, this is very important. And if you go home and you have to take home something with you, take home this. SEO is like a gold rush. There is no time you can waste. Because speaking of keywords, right? If I start to build on a keyword and I build an entire website on that, and I start to rank like that, there is no one that can outrank me, yeah? So, in uh, 1869, 16 of August, 1869, they found gold in the Yukon, in the east, well, northwest uh, Canada, right? So, these people here, 100,000 people, started to migrate from US up north to go find the gold. Now, what was the problem? Okay, there was winter, it's like next to Alaska, it was a, So, uh, out of 100,000 people, only 40,000 made it there. And out of these uh, 40,000, only 20,000 actually managed to become pros prospectors. Because the land is limited, right? So you can't go search the gold wherever you want. You have to go, where is the gold, right? And out of these 20,000, only about 4,000 found gold, right? Again, gold is in the river. You have to work to catch it. <laughs> it's not easy. Only a few hundreds made actually money with the gold in the Yukon. So SEO is the same thing. We have to look for keywords and we have to find good ones. I will explain later what is good keyword and bad keyword. But So the thing is that if your competitor gets to a good keyword before you, it's gonna get a lot of traffic and you are going to get nothing, okay? Or at the very least, it's gonna take much more time and money for you to catch up with, with the competitor. So it is very good, as I said before, when you have a product, when you have a, a service, an idea, or you have a brand, you have to start SEO as soon as possible. Because if you don't do that, somebody else can have your, same, your very same idea and they can steal the, the land where you were supposed to build. And then it becomes very much more difficult.